I like them big. You've been constantly held to a new standard every three months, every time there's a new trend, literally every day right now on TikTok. You are a human being, you're not a trend. Seriously, it's giving internalized patriarchy. Let them burn. <laughs> I can't believe I've been recording this video showing you guys my skincare without my microphone being on. That's too dramatic. But anyway, I'm having this tea from Davis Tea. It's the ginger flavor from the Happy Tommy. Yeah, I'm done with my skincare, keeping it really simple. Today, we are talking about something juicy, something hot. I don't know if some of you are going to be able to relate with this video. Some of you are going to hate me for this, but we're going to talk about it anyway. Oh, I saw this tweet online talking about how men hate virgins hold on okay so it's not about men hating virgins but just finding virgins less attractive and this was coming from mostly the nigerian community and i'm pretty sure most africans or even black community in general can relate can understand this tweet now what i find particularly disturbing about it is not that men were complaining but that women were actually really going on about how they've had some bad experiences with men after telling them they were virgins how did we get here <laughs> are we really doing this just in case you're wondering i'm doing a no foundation makeup and i'm not a makeup pro I just do what works for me and what I feel like. Yeah, I like to do a simple makeup that looks like skin. So of course I found that tweet quite ridiculous for a number of reasons because this is now seeming to be the new trend. It wasn't the first time I was actually seeing something like that. Ed of it before, people talking about how virgins are kind of cringy, weird less attractive like what is that kind of a thing and it feels like this is one of those things that of course the society likes to make into a trend it's like there was a time there was an era where having different body counts meant that you were a whore and now it is that if you're a virgin you're weird you're less attractive do you guys see the pattern here it's okay for you to be skinny but that's not really in style you know we like thick and then now it's like we like slim thick and then tomorrow is gonna be i like them big it's more like we are being objectified we are turned into trends today we like chubby women tomorrow we like skinny women like so what do you want them to do now now that you guys feel like the trend is no longer um, sexual purity now you want her to go this virgin herself just so that she can come to you and be like oh now do you now find me attractive? Am I now good enough for you? Do you see how problematic that is? We're losing our unique differences. Everybody's supposed to fall into these standards. And those standards are mostly targeted to the women, not the men, because they are the ones setting the standards. But even though we know that it's been since Jesus' time that, okay, men are always going to have their way in things, but the bigger picture here is there's a lot of shaming around women. There's a lot of body shaming. Oh, you're a whole, you're a virgin, you're fat, you're skinny, you're flat, you're ugly, you're too dark, you have uneven skin tone. It's too many things, too much body shaming. That is what is contributing to a lot of people having low self-esteem because of all these things that have been thrown at the women. The men don't go through half of this pressure. Like, what's the most they go through? It's never men versus women. It's always about emotional respect. Don't hold us to a standard that you cannot hold yourself to. Because in the long run, you're doing us a disservice. Do we want to talk about the amount of women that are going through so much pressure, so much low self-esteem issues, and let's not pretend. All the, she's a baddie, she's a baddie, she's a 10. It's not gonna fix this, okay? We can all try to mask it up, but at the end of the day, when you are by yourself, when you think deep within you, you know that there's that lack of contentment. You know that you don't feel good about yourself because you've been constantly held to a new standard every three months, every time there's a new trend, literally every day right now on TikTok. Body shaming, the sexual shaming, all that shaming is doing us a great disservice. At the end of the day, when we feel like we are not complete, like there's always something missing, we tend to look externally for validation. And the circle just keeps going on. You're still never going to be content with yourself. Now on the subject of sexual purity, virginity, it's really not that deep. I mean, this thing is very personal. I know some men don't want to be with virgins because they don't believe them. You know, we have women that actually lie about these things in order to cover up for other 
issues they might have i get that but i'm talking about men that actually don't find this attractive it's like why should that be an issue and for the ladies that are stressing themselves about these men it's like so what do you want to do now you want to go sleep with someone else to break the hymen and then come back to him to tell him hey i'm now deflowered can you take me back is that what like why are you even bothered like why are you even with that kind of a man a man that doesn't value what you value i'm not saying that uh, virginity is the badge of honor that satisfies any woman as being pure best mannered woman no but if that's a virtue that you value why not go to someone else that values it if it's not okay with you being celibate or being a virgin i think you should take your value to someone else that is appreciating of that if there's a reason why you chose to be celibate or to be a virgin it's harder to be that than not to be that so it's most likely a value that means a lot to you and i genuinely want us to be comfortable in our skin comfortable in our values and not have to always bend for what we think the society wants from us you don't have to always dance to the tune of these men seriously it's giving internalized patriarchy also ladies you have to beware of your friends there are so many women that are not going to be happy for you now we have a lot of people that are indifferent about these things either you're a virgin or not is whatever like it's not a big deal but you know it's a big deal to you so why are you telling friends that you know they are probably jealous of you why are you telling them your business about your sexual experiences and history when you can't even trust them don't even feel the pressure to try to conform to the new trend you are a human being you're not a trend and you need to always keep that in mind and you will attract the right people for you the people that value what you value i don't see anything wrong in it and i do value virginity celibacy whatever you're doing for your own good it's okay by me the world can literally burn baby let them burn <laughs> but what i want you to keep in mind is virginity is not the thing that will make you attractive if your partner finds that attractive well that will be an icing on the cake but what will make you even more attractive and keep that man is your character your character is gonna speak louder than anything if your character stinks it's gonna go either you're holy mary your mother of jesus and your behavior is disgusting it, it doesn't just work so beyond the sexual purity or you know those values your character speaks louder your confidence is what makes you more attractive i'm not sure i'm really feeling this lip combo what do you guys think smash or pass anyway that'll be all for today's video thank you so much for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed i'd love to hear back from you so please leave some comments down below in the comment box and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't please please and i will see you guys in my next video but until then keep shining bye guys